I'm home. Hey, Johnny! Hey, ladies. You all been good girls while I was out? Ah, uh, the sky is just a perfect blue today, isn't it? Where's Leap? I think it's time for a feast. We've got bigger things to worry about. What? May ran away. She heard about the Japanese thing from Ramlethal, and then she heard her disease might be really rare, and she got scared. Ramlethal? She fought that monster on her own? Sorry. Where did she go? That's the thing, we have no idea. We stopped to restock, and when we realized she was gone... Chip's out looking for her right now, but... Oh, jeez, what should we do? She was afraid she'd make all of us sick. Duh, that idiot. Oh, no, no, this is all my fault. Damn it. All right, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna split up, and we're going to find her. So hungry. <gasps> oh, man, Johnny, guys. You little jerk! I can't be wasting my time like this! I've got important stuff to do! And why the hell are you out in a creepy forest like this anyway? You're lucky my ninja senses are in top form, or you'd have been lost forever. What? What are you doing here? Your friends asked me to help you. Obviously. No, not that. I mean, I thought you were going to Babylon. What? There's only one of me. How am I supposed to be in two places at once? Hmm? Hmm? That's not what I... You know what? Never mind. Thank you. Good. Now I don't have time to ask you why you ran off, but you should really be getting back to your friends. I can't. Ramlethal said I was a disease, a, an infection. I don't want to get them sick, too. What? Look, I don't know what she told you, but that's not your problem to solve. Not alone, anyway. What? While we're wasting time here, your friends are probably out frantically looking for you. In fact, I know they are. But... Don't butt me. Think about it. If I hadn't found you, you think their lives would just go on, like nothing happened? You're underestimating the power of friendship. What should I do then? I can't get them involved in whatever's wrong with me. That'd be selfish. And, and what if it affects the whole world? The whole world? Listen, I believe no choice is without consequences, so just stop worrying about other people and be a little selfish for a change. But I... For example, let's say you had to sacrifice someone, one person, to save the whole world. H huh? If you're a world leader or somebody with tons of responsibility, you might do it without a second thought. You might not be wrong. But the world of that leader and the world of the person they're sacrificing are pretty different. All their memories, the people they love, the food they ate, those experiences are their world. Even if they knew their sacrifice could save so many people, could you really blame them if they refused to go through with it? Um... So tell me, what's your world? M my world? Exactly. What is it you love the most? All my friends. Johnny, April, all the jellyfish pirates. Is that more important to you than some important guy's world? Yeah! 
There you go. Each of your friends has a world like yours. You're a part of each one of those. That means there's always a place for you. Really? God, you're still a kid. Why don't you try thinking about stuff a little, huh? Figure out whether or not people are lying to you. Now get out of here. Go home. Okay. But I'm not a kid, you know. Fine, fine. How old are you then? Um, 24. What? It's not, not possible. 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 May! Johnny! Did you find her, April? No. I went to all the nearby villages, but nobody had seen her. Ugh, this doesn't make sense. Why can't we find her? We've looked everywhere. Damn it. Maybe she went into the mountains. It's getting dark. You kids should be getting back to the ship. What about you? I'm going into the mountains. No, you have to rest too. You've been looking all day. Now don't worry about me, I'm fine. You're pushing yourself too hard. Then I'll keep going till I collapse. Stop it! What? Hmm? Go! May! You. <gasps> Guys! She said I was a disease! I, I thought I might be contagious! I didn't want you guys to get sick! You could all die! The, the world could end! But I don't want to leave you! So, please, help me. Oh, you big idiot. Oh, thank goodness. The gang's all here. Doctor. That ought to do the trick. You're pretty lucky, man. And you, Doctor, your timing's impeccable. I thought we were supposed to come to you, though. Ah, yes! About that. Johnny, do you have a moment? Sure, Doc. I don't have much time. First, take this. What is it? Her treatment. Give it to me in small doses, periodically. Here, this is the dosage schedule. Okay. Also, take this. It's a prescription. Should the worst happen, take this to any competent doctor, and they can mix you the drugs you need. Wait, why she have to keep taking it? Unfortunately, even I am unable to determine the root cause of her condition. So, I was forced to develop a rather rushed stopgap treatment. Rushed? Yeah, hold on a minute here. You're actually pretty nervous. Just what the hell's going on? I cannot say any more. Don't you trust me? I owe you for this. I want to help. Your gratitude is appreciated, but I cannot accept your help. Telling you any more would put you in danger. The Japanese have a secret far beyond what anyone suspects. What? I am on my way to meet someone in hopes that he might help me further my understanding of this secret. If anyone asks what I told you, do not attempt to cover for me. Simply tell the truth that I refuse to answer. 
There is one last thing, one very important thing. Do not, under any circumstances, let me near the colony. I can feel you hating from all the way over here. Who the hell are you? Run away! The child is here for you! You cannot defeat him! Beware! <laughs> huh. Some kind of hypnosis? Get out of here! Whoa, whoa. Don't tell me you're planning to stay here and hog all the glory. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm president. I don't know who this guy is, but I'm sure I don't have to tell you he... Yeah, he's bad news. As far as I can tell, he's beyond either of us. I'm not sure we could win even if we both took him on. Whoa, what are you talking about? I am more than enough to shut down this nerd. But who's winning and losing isn't important right now. You need to get your girls to safety. Plus, I uh, have zero idea what you should. Back to the ship, ladies. On the double. He's got a teleportation technique I don't recognize. Not sure what the range is on it, but whatever you do, don't let him figure out where your ship is. You're starting a country, right? Make sure you don't die before I get a chance to vote for you. You're gonna have to get in line for a green card before you have to worry about voting. Answer, can you hear me? Yes. The North Star is straight ahead, about 26 degrees above the horizon. The Floyd Rose Tower is at one hour, 38 minutes. I've got you. A couple people are down. I want you to send somebody over. Understood. And you, sir? I'm fighting some monster I've never seen before. Can you describe it? Looks human, or at least humanoid, but he's strapped to a person-shaped bed. Looks to be in the mid to late teens. The kid, not the bed. Caucasian, short purple hair, glasses. He's sleeping, but the bed's walking around. Too dark to tell eye color. He's wearing what appears to be a hospital gown. Getting anything? Zero hits on person-shaped bed, but I've got 128 items that match the boy's description. Anything else? I'm fighting now! Kinda hard to look! Gah. Sir! Gah. I'm fine! He's got some kind of tattoo over most of his body. Simple design looks like thorns. Boss! Listen, you little bastard! I know what you look like. We're gonna find you wherever you try and hide. And if anything happens to the boss, we'll kill you before you know we're coming. Once you see past the smoke and mirrors, it isn't difficult to counter. I know your secret. Zato-1, is it too much to ask you to just go back to being dead? I can't believe this. The Conclave really needs to be more careful with its toys. This could be a huge problem. A problem? To be frank, your mission does not concern me. But you have heard the one thing that matters to me. Melia. You've awoken the anger of a dead man, child. I will not hesitate to erase you from this world. Return, Batman. 
Uh-oh. Are you worried about me? <laughs> That's touching, but you needn't. I have this situation completely under control. No. There's been a shift in our priorities. Excuse me? Our mission has changed. Sato knows far too much, more than anyone else. We should terminate him now, before we lose control of the situation. And I need the entertainment. Someone in Illyria has figured out the truth of the crater. Oh, that was quicker than expected. You're right then, we've no time to waste on Sato. Exactly. We cannot allow anyone to interfere with the crater's emergence. Understood. He's gone. Zato, I must apologize for that unsightly display. No need. Had you understood the sleight of hand behind his attacks, you would have never been taken unawares. I would love to hear more. However, there are far more urgent matters to which we must attend. We had meant to go directly to the king. Yes, Kai Kisk, the ruler of Illyria. I see we thought along similar lines. Great minds, as they say. Unfortunately, I have been unable to locate him. I see. I'm surprised. I had thought you would be in Illyria with Melia and Venom. Yes, well, that young fellow you just saw managed to drag us out here. Wait, if you're here, then that must mean... Yes, we're near Uyghur. So far? I cannot sense its true form, but that boy clearly possesses mysterious power that transcends our understanding of logic. I cannot help but feel that he is somehow similar to me, as I was when I wandered the underworld. Impossible! How could he possibly be at all akin to you, Lord Zato? Unless you're talking about their terrible taste. Please! You've awoken. Sir, I... I apologize. I failed in my mission. You are not to blame if he was your opponent. I am relieved to see that you appear unharmed. My lord! Ah... <sighs> Do you think we'll see that kid again? It didn't look like he backed off out of the kindness of his heart. Perhaps it is up to us. Please, enlighten me. Go on. While we fought, I noticed he never spoke. But occasionally, his behavior suggested someone elsewhere was giving him orders. He also appeared the moment we decided to pass our information to the king. In other words, someone has ears and eyes everywhere, and is manipulating the flow of information, destroying anyone who impedes them. Hmm. A well-reasoned argument. I think you are correct. Are we fighting the Conclave? Unfortunately, I was unable to determine that. I apologize. If this is a war of information, then the enemy has the upper hand. Every moment we sit here twiddling our thumbs, things just get worse. If only we could learn where the king is hiding. This far out, our magic comms are useless. We need to move. In that case, perhaps I could offer some insight. Please explain. If I know the king as well as I believe I do, he will avoid any place where the conclave is particularly strong. And that greatly limits his options. Of course. If we are fortunate, we may even encounter him by chance. I will handle this, Lord Slayer. We've deviated from the script quite a bit. I'm feeling rather tired. Yes, well done. I don't really mind a little ad-lib, but if this keeps up, one body's not going to be enough for me to handle all of it. But I must create my absolute world. Our absolute world, that man. Don't forget about me. Of course, my apologies. You are a curious little creature, though, aren't you? Soul bad guy and his awakening should be your only concern in this equation, correct? Ah, uh, but I'm never satisfied with 100%. I don't feel as though something's done until it's 200% complete. 
Delilah and I were born with this curse. As a result, since the day I was born, I've never had any friends in the real world or dreams. For the first time, though, I feel like I'm beginning to understand friendship. But that's enough of that. It's embarrassing. Oh, you honor me. The truth is, when I met you, I already had my plan laid out, down to the smallest detail. I could have easily executed it on my own. Huh? <laughs> Although it would have required me to risk everything, even my life. Since we're working together, though, I don't need to bet that much, so please apply any of my surplus to your 200%. For our absolute world. For our absolute world. to the cradle. Good. We need more information about it. What's yes. your situation? Is something the matter, sir? Leo suspects collaboration between the Conclave and whomever's behind the cradle. Has his recording shed any light on the situation? That's an absolute defense felion. We can't penetrate with physical yes, this or part. magical attack. Absolute defense felion. I've listened to it several times, I'm sure. What does it mean? Aphelion is an extremely specialized technique used by the Sanctus Populi. It can only be activated in the presence of the Maximus, or a Conclave member. I see. No doubt that is why Leo did not wish to tell me this directly, and why he told me to speak with Zep, for the Conclave has no eyes or ears. We must hurry. Do we have a line to Zep? Yes, sir. We must double back, but we have no choice. Bring us around and take the engines up to full. Whoa! Where the heck am I? The backyard. <sighs> oh, you again. Uh, well, hold on a tick. The backyard, you say? Well, where's that again? Sounds a bit familiar. Blimey, my body feels heavy and my... my head feels weird. We're inside of a field that man developed that allows us to be here in the flesh. I know it hurts, but for God's sake, just throw a pair. Huh? Oh, okay. You don't mind my asking, what exactly am I doing here? You wanted to meet him, right? Said you had something to tell him. Right, right. Well, oh, wait. You mean... That man's actually here. Yes, and you should feel really special, because not a lot of people get to talk to him face to face. Oh my goodness, you're, you're not pissing around, are you? Why do I feel so nervous? This is a new one. Wait, but didn't I already deliver the message to you? Unfortunately, what you said can't exactly be said by anybody but you. So as much as I'd like to, I can't carry it to him myself. Uh, I, I'm sorry, but I'm not following you here. Just shut your hole and come on. We have to move. Uh, uh, Roy, Cameron. You've returned. Thanks for waiting. Here he is. Thank you, Eno. This is the bloke? Um, are you... It's a pleasure to meet you, Axel, though. I apologize for making you come so far. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, too. I already know a great deal about you. You've broken many laws of physics. Oh, that's so, huh? I hate to be blunt, but would you mind telling me? Huh? Don't you have a message from the original? Oh, uh, that's right. I do. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, sorry. Just got a little carried away. Nothing to worry about. <clears throat> Here it goes. Oh, 
What in the bloody hell was that? I thought so. Even with a third party present, only the person the message is for can actually hear it. I see. So it's true then. Do you know what the Conclave's after now? Yes, everything makes sense. Even the little farce, the Second Holy Order's selection tournament. Although, unfortunately, we've fallen a bit behind. Cronus, this time I will stop you. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but, um... Yes, of course. I've received your message quite clearly. Then, uh, I can go home now. Naturally. But please, I insist you allow me to show you my gratitude. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Really, it's quite all right. I'm actually in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Cheerio. That's a shame. I had thought at the very least perhaps some sweets to go with your tea. I had them made right here in the backyard. In fact, I believe the only place you can enjoy this taste is, well, here. Perhaps you could take some. Can... Uh... Can I ask you a quick question? You are the same fellow who created the gear called Justice and pretty well started the crusade, right? Yes, that would be me. Don't take this the wrong way now, but uh, you really don't strike me as the villainous sort. No, I'm so sorry. Please, just forget I said that. Forget everything. Thank you for the sweets. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Where the hell is the exit? Uh, you know, you might want to consider being a little scarier. Really? Eliminate all redundancies with extreme prejudice. Oh! I think I said this already, but you must have some pretty brutal dreams. You heard me? Yeah. Oh, geez, that's embarrassing. What? How? Well, well I mean, um, for a woman, it's. Uh... I don't follow. Oh, just forget it! Why are you here? Uh, no reason, I guess. So you don't even have a reason for sneaking in here and watching me sleep? Nope. You've got problems, mister. No sense of decency at all. What's the big deal? It's not like I hurt you or anything. Oh, oh but you did! My self-esteem, for instance, has been destroyed! And what if I get used to people seeing me when I'm all... all... Gross! I might just have to give up on looking good. That would hurt, that would hurt a lot. Not to mention all the sleep I'm going to lose from reliving this horrible moment. But my face must have been so, so... <gasps> what was I? Drooling. Uh, no. Oh, thank God. <laughs> this is nothing to laugh about! No, I was just thinking, you've got a pretty wide range of emotion. Nothing like the last Valentine. Then you believe me? That I have emotions? Well, I mean, it's kind of hard not to. Somebody without emotions wouldn't throw that huge a fit. I'm a little surprised. I thought that after Mr. Bad Guy said they were just an act, you'd... Well... Yeah, well, sometimes I feel like he's so smart, he's actually dumb. It's all grumpy whenever he can't explain something with logic. Really? Sure is easy to talk shit about people when they aren't around. <gasps> what? It's not talking shit if it's true. 
Do you ever think about something for more than five seconds? Self-preservation mean anything to you? Don't sweat it. L wouldn't do anything to me. Would you? No, of course not. See? That's good enough for you. Besides, I could tell you the same thing, L felt. If you're trying to get anything out of Sin, just give up. The only thing that comes out of his mouth is a steady stream of bullshit. Uh, I don't have any rebuttal for that. All right, fine. What about you, old man? You figured out anything about the Cradle? Government war rooms across the world are talking themselves in circles because they don't have enough information. Ours might help, but... Why don't we give it to them? Because the Conclave's behind this, and they've got eyes and ears everywhere. The more people we tell, the higher the chance of telling the wrong person. Then, why don't you just throw all the people working for the Conclave into a jail somewhere? You listening? They've got people all over the world. Assuming they didn't all book it once the arrest started, there aren't enough cells to hold them all. Damn, that sounds like a pain in the ass. No shit. If we could figure out what the Cradle's up to, maybe we could do something, but otherwise... You sure you don't know anything, El? Sorry... Huh? There you are, Soul. We may have found a powerful ally. Kai? Explain! Leo has begun to doubt the Conclave as well. I know it means doubling back, but we've decided to head to Zepp. Zepp? Leo has his own line to them. Their communication system is extremely advanced. Our technology can't crack it. I suspect they intend to use that secure line. Zepp never joined the UN, and they're not allied with the Conclave. And a floating continent can avoid other countries pretty easily. Huh. I guess there's still a few people with a head on their shoulders in Illyria, huh? Yes. I would like to speak with you before we arrive in Zepp. If you would follow me. <sighs> Damn, old man. You sure are stubborn. Sin? Hmm? Why do you call Soul old man all the time? You two seem so close. Yeah, I guess we've been asking all these questions, but we haven't really told you about us, have we? All right, go ahead, ask me whatever you want. Okay. Well, you said you were Mr. Kisk's kid, right? Soul's been raising me since I was little. We spent a lot of time traveling together, so yeah, I guess we're pretty close. Oh. What about Mr. Kisk, then? Uh, <laughs> uh, that's a tough one. A little embarrassing, actually. Oh, good. Good? Well, whenever you talk to him, you always seem so distant. I thought it was because you hated him. I'm glad it's not. Yeah, I don't hate him. Well, not anymore. What? Well, my mom's a gear. Gears aren't exactly, uh, popular, so we had to live in hiding. That's the way the wind blows, but when I was a kid, I kept wondering how long we'd have to keep doing that and whose fault it was. In the end, I blamed Kai. I was wrong, though. He was fighting as hard as he could for a world where gears and humans could live together happily. It wasn't an easy fight. My mom's kind of stuck in Hilaria right now, but Kai's been, well, amazing. I saved her right when she was about to die, and... <laughs> whoa, whoa, what the hell? You're, you're crying? And... Whoa, wait, is that a nosebleed? That's true love! Oh, what a wonderful story. Forbidden love that transcends all boundaries. Oh, man. When's that gonna happen to me? Is that really how it works? But... It's sin. 
you don't hate him anymore, right? Then why don't you call Mr. Kisk dad? <gasps> what? Don't give me that. You don't have to do it right away, but I think eventually you'll want to. So just promise me you will, okay? You really think that's gonna happen? Hey, actually, that reminds me. What's the deal with the mother you and Ram keep talking about? She... doesn't actually exist. Huh? Well, it's kind of hard to explain. She... doesn't really have a physical body. Valentines are asked to run errands, and given orders and rules to follow. That kind of stuff. But all of that's just implanted as memories before we're born. Nobody ever tells us to do it. So Ram and I have never touched or seen our mother. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up something uncomfortable. No, 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 it's fine. Honestly, I'm happy to finally be able to talk about this with somebody. Maybe that's why I... I've always wanted to be part of a real family. Interesting. Well, good luck with the true love thing then. What's wrong? Unfortunately for me, that's forbidden. Huh? N nothing! But the next time you go see Ram, do you think I could come too? <laughs> 